Hi guys, welcome back to another video. I am doing this highly requested video and I can actually say it's highly requested now. <laughs> I've had several people ask me to make this video so I like to give the people what they want. That's just how I like to do it on this channel. So I'm going to be doing a what's in my bag or what fits inside the Pauline numeral uno. <laughs> so I do have quite a few items in here and so far, no real complaints. To all those who are already part of the Laid Back Crew, thank you, welcome back. Thanks for stopping by and saying hi, I really appreciate it. Um, and if you want to be part of the crew, feel free to hit that subscribe button. Over here on this channel, we just kind of do a couple different things. On Sundays, I have my self-care Sundays. That's where we just take a moment to kind of do some things that will pamper ourselves, relax ourselves, and motivate ourselves for the upcoming week. And then on Wednesdays, I do What A Bag Wednesdays, where I pretty much focus on luxury bags, SLGs, anything kind of in the luxury realm. So that actually might be renamed soon in the future. <laughs> we'll see how that goes. But yeah, so today I'm actually going to be showcasing and showing you guys what fits inside this Pauline and my kind of first week thoughts. So I was actually, I did use this out and about. I ran some errands. I've been doing things going here and there and it's not always as full as it is, but today I knew I was going to be adding a lot of items to this bag and I just wanted to show how it could work. This is a great work bag, especially if you do not need to carry your laptop. If you have to carry a laptop, <sighs> not gonna work unless they make a bigger size. This could probably fit an iPad in here, but um, maybe one of the smaller ones, so. Yeah, I don't know. I'm not an iPad person, so <laughs> I don't know the different ones. Either way, so I want to just kind of get into showing you what's inside. So I'm going to flip the camera around. So I'm going to just show you what's inside right now, and then we can go through all the items or how it's packed. So right now, it has all this stuff in there. It doesn't seem like too much, but it can still, there's still space. Let me open it up all the way. The one thing I will say, after using this bag... It is just a little bit of an annoyance to have to snap everything back to get it to close. I'm hoping as the bag softens up, it'll become much more easier and much more manageable. But still, since it's pretty structured, you actually kind of have to like close it. Take the time to close it. Um, but other than that, I still love it. I, that's why I think this is going to be a really good work bag. You're not going to be going in and out of it all day, but it'll get you the to and from. <laughs> so let's kind of just go inside what I have. So here she is in all of her glory, hanging out, holding all my essentials. Um, it is pretty stuffed. So far, I just want to talk about some pros and some cons. The bag is great overall. Overall, I love it. Um, some things that I kind of am already a little sad about is I've already scratched it. And I have no idea what I scratched it on because I don't have long nails. So this smooth part is really delicate. You want to be careful with it. I'm not someone who's super delicate, but I'm, I'm a little upset, but I'm a little not. Again, I use my purses. I buy my purses to use my purses. I would have liked to have not scratched it so soon in the game, but it's scratched. And I don't know if you can really pick it up on camera. It kind of looks like a stretch mark, <laughs> if I'm being real. So... I don't know. Um, but yeah, other than that, the other con that I do have so far, but I have a feeling it's not going to be an issue once the bag softens up a bit, is just how structured it is. Like to close it, I do have to pop every button. I have to secure it. I have to push it in. It's not easy open and close yet, but I do see that getting a little easier. And I'm almost tempted because if you look, the sides are stitched. So I'm almost tempted to cut cut it, but I think I'm gonna give it a few months before I do that. Just play it by ear, because it doesn't look like it's really, it wouldn't hurt anything really, and I don't plan on reselling this bag, but we'll see. However, this is everything that's inside. We have an organizer, kirigami, some lotion, uh, and some wallets and things like that. So the first thing that I have in my bag is my agenda. This is the desk agenda. I feel like it's in the middle between the GM and the MM, but I'm not 100% sure if any of you guys know. Go ahead and place that in the comments below. But it is a larger size planner. It was definitely larger than the Taiga leather one that I had um, 
So yeah, this is probably the largest thing in the purse though. So everything else is gonna be slightly smaller than this. Then, so I also have my medium karigami, which are housing my mask at the moment. So when my mom came to visit, she actually gave me a little gift, a mask holder. So I've been using that. I have that in here. My wallet was in here as well, but I had used it, so I had just thrown it in there. So the wallet was floating around in there and there was still space. However, I do like to keep it a little more organized, so I put that bad boy right in there like that. There's also a mirror in there and some documents that I'm housing that I need to kind of keep with me at all times. Then I have another Kirigami, which are holding tampons right now. This is the medium size, my stash. I have a clay, the Empreinte clay in there with the keys. I don't have them in the pouch. That fit fine. In my clay, I do have my ID and some cards and things like that. Driver's license that I would always need to have if I'm driving the vehicle. So I just put that in there to make it a little easier. And then I have my Breath of Fresh Air toner water. And since I ran out of my Pure um, Aesthetics lotion, I have been using the Chanel in my, my bag for lotion. So I don't have like a lot, but they're large pieces in there. And then the last thing I have is the Kiragami for my tooth, my teeth, and some mustard for my spouse. But I could take that out because he's not around. <laughs> I keep mustard for him because he loves mustard and not everywhere has mustard when he wants mustard. So, um, yeah, so that's pretty much it. That was my kind of take to work what's in my bag. I will probably come back in a brief kind of minute to show, you know, what I do on the norm. It fits quite a bit. And you know what, guys? I have a problem. I like this bag so much that I went out and bought the Nano. So I am going to be doing a comparison video on the Nano versus this size. So if you were thinking about getting a smaller size and you were unsure, you can at least have a comparison and a side by side to see which one you guys like the most. But yeah, that's kind of it for this guy. Um, the what's in my bag for today. It's, it's simple. It's to the point. I'm not really messing around with a lot of stuff. I just take my essentials. The only other thing that can make this bag amazing is if it was slightly larger and I could have fit my laptop in it, then it would be the ultimate work bag. Just to kind of show you how I load it up, it's pretty straightforward. I had this in here because it was smaller. There was nothing in the moment in that small zipper. So I started with my organizer, my Kiragami, the large one, the Kiragami, the medium one, and then toner, lotion, keys. Then you got a snap. I, although I don't mind the snaps because I love snap, snaps. If you're like, I wouldn't use this bag as a bag if you have to keep going in and out of your bag all day. Bag isn't like, this isn't a bag I would take shopping all the time. If you have to go in and out of your purse, at least not in the beginning when it's still like a stiff kind of leather it's a little annoying to go in and out of at the moment i do feel though that when this bag starts to loosen up and kind of lose a little bit of that hard structure it'll definitely be a lot easier to get in and out of but in the meantime if you're just using it to work and back it's great if you're not going to be pulling in your wallet like putting like everything in your your bag and having to keep pulling it out especially if you start utilizing the back pocket i did put a phone in here and i have been using it it does kind of stretch it out a little bit but i'm like again i'm not selling this bag <laughs> not that i can think of this is a bag i'm going to use so if i'm going to use it use all of it but um yeah so i've been doing that I can't wait to come back in like six months to give like an, another opinion to see if I still love it, to see if I hate it. But right now, even though there are those two cons, I still really enjoy the bag. I still like it. I still like picking it up and carrying it. It just feels nice. It just feels good. Again, my two cons, if you skip through that part, is the fact that it does scratch. This part has scratched already and there are already scratches on it. And I don't have long nails, so I'm not sure what scratched it. I probably rubbed against something. I don't think the camera is quite picking it up. But you can kind of see. Oh, there you go. They look like little stretch marks, yeah? 
So that has already happened and it's only been a couple days. So that's a little irritating, but meh. And the fact that it is a kind, it's still a little stiff. So it's a little hard to get in and out of, but if you have a surface to put it down on and you can kind of close it, it makes it a lot easier. But if you're carrying it, trying to like snap all the buttons and make it close and secure, it's not there yet. It's just too stiff at the moment. I do feel like it is already kind of softening it up, softening up. So when that happens, I know it's going to be a lot more easy to manipulate. So I'm waiting for that day. Oh, one thing <laughs> before I finish, I know a couple people, I had posted a picture of it in a Facebook group and they had asked if I could remove the strap for this and the strap is removable. So it's kind of like a button and it's fairly easy. It's fairly easy. I wouldn't say keep doing it like all the time because it is going to stretch out but you can see how it has those little slits in there like a button almost so boop you do that pop it out now you can take the strap off same thing for this one which has me thinking i should probably try and play around with it a little bit more so i can see what else i can do with this bag but as of now that's pretty much how you do it. This is where we're at with it. Same thing to get it back. And then you do this. It still has that leather smell. I'm really happy about that. It still looks like gorgeous, even though there's the little scratches. No one's really up that close on me to see it. And yeah. Once it softens up a little bit, I think this will be a wonderful bag. I think this will be one of my favorite bags that I own. Um, and again, I do like the fact that there's no, there's not a lot of labels on it. They put their logo and name in several small places. Um, so again, it doesn't scream designer, but you can see those little touches. And uh, if any of you guys watch uh, Instant Hotel, I think it's called, the devil is in the details, honey. <laughs> and they have it. So they have like their name on the little snaps and they have their name on the sides. Um, I'm not sure if the camera, I think the camera is picking it up. So you can kind of see like they put their little logo in small places, like all the snaps actually have the pulling. So it's those little things that are really just kind of that make the bag just feel ultra luxurious. And of course, the beautiful color. The more I see this, the more I like it. It feels like it's darkening up, <laughs> that it's already darkened up. I did leave it in the sun a little bit, so maybe that's why, but it's slowly getting to the little, the brown color that I was expecting and wanting it to be. But yeah, this is her, this is she. <laughs> pretty much it again I did say I'm gonna be doing a comparison on the nano I did pick one up because I just couldn't I couldn't wait and I I'm a little bummed because I bought it all in that smooth leather and if it's gonna scratch like that ah, ah, I might not be using it that often but it looked beautiful and I wanted a smaller size for the normal day I feel like the smaller one might be a little more practical uh, because I'm not gonna be carrying a lot of stuff all the time so yeah, there's that. So that's my what's in the bag for this week for my what a bag Wednesday. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, it's real quick. I just wanted to get that out there for you at least the first time. I'm pretty sure there's going to be another what's in my bag or what fits the more I use this. So yeah, I am glad you guys requested this video. I was happy to make it for you. Um, it was really exciting and stay tuned for some mod shots because I do have a couple of mod shots that I've done with the purse so far so I'll be sure to put that in and leave comments questions if you have any questions let me know what you think in the comments below I'm gonna finally officially end this video so this that's going to be it for me today again next week I will be doing a comparison and review between this size and the nano size to see which one you know just to kind of give you guys an option to see which one you think is going to work best for your lifestyle your body your frame things like that and I will you know of course do all that fun stuff so stay safe have a great rest of your day stop by for self-care Sundays I know it sounds crazy and it may not be your thing but 
you know, you might learn one thing or two. <laughs> so uh, that's it for me, guys. I hope you have a great rest of your day. Stay safe and ciao. Mm -hmm.